standing with Greg Popple. Greg, good to see you again. How are you, bud? I'm doing, doing well. Good? Yeah. You doing okay? Long been a good, show. Been yeah, long it's actually show. been a real good show. Excellent. Excellent. We're debuting our new S bus system. Okay. And educating the people on it. I've heard a lot about the S bus personally. You know, I know enough to be dangerous, but why don't you tell us a little bit about it and kind of walk us through how, exactly how it works? And because I've heard it's a fairly simple system, but I don't quite get it. Imagine, if you will, having one cord coming out of your out of your receiver. Mm -hmm. We are building everything off these terminal blocks. Okay. So what we do is we add the smarts into the terminal block, okay. from the terminal block to our extensions, we have the ability to program the servos with our programmer. What you've got is you plug the receiver, in, or I mean a battery in here and a servo in here, mm -hmm. and I can tell it like to be number two, I want it to be an elevator servo. Okay. Press the button and hold it, it's an elevator servo. Okay. Intelligence are in the servos. If I needed to be a rudder servo, I'd turn it to number four, and it's a rudder servo. Okay. Press the button. Now those servos say, hey, you know what? Wherever you put me, I'm going to be a rudder or I'm going to be an elevator. Okay. So there's no individual setting up the servo before you install it. You can just put it in, Done. program afterwards. Yeah. Now you're telling me then that each servo actually has a processor that understands and realizes what its job is, and yep. it's almost I mean, not that it's individualized from the receiver, but it does what it's supposed to regardless of the signal it gets? Correct. Okay. So with the S-Bus, all the signals for the whole system are going out on all the cabling, right? Correct. Okay. And then each servo picks out the signal that it's looking for. Correct. Okay, Greg. So I'm looking at these cables here, and I notice you got one input, but you've got three outputs. How does that work? Well, when the terminal block, what we do is we come out of the receiver with one wire. Okay. I have a s extension that has three inputs. Mm -hmm. So after I've told the servo what it is, all I need to do is get the signal back to it. Okay. We have these up to 46 inches. So I run one wire back. I run my two elevator servos and my rudder servo. Now you're talking one single cable runs all three servos at the rear at the tail of your airplane. Correct. What about power loss? Because it seems like you're running a whole lot through one small cable. They hold 10 amps. 10 amps. Yeah. Okay. And well, the other thing is, at any point, I can put a tap uh, a break or tap in, and I can put power directly to that. Okay. So you can you can put in additional additional power. Correct. Excellent. The other thing that we're doing is, because everybody's not going to go buy our servos, mm -hmm. everybody's saying, hey, I've got some high-tech servos, you know what, we've actually figured out how to manage that. We have an encoder system now, Okay. and what it is, is it's the S-Bus intelligence, and it'll tell your servo what to do. So Think you have a smart extension. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So now you say, hey, you know what? I like these servos. Great. Keep using them. Mm -hmm. We've gone as far as our new CIU. We can give you a program on your laptop mm -hmm. that you have in infinite ability. I can change centering. I can change boost. I can change endpoint adjustments. Mm -hmm. I can memorize if I'm setting up a big airplane like my big 40%. Mm -hmm. I do one servo then I match the next servo, and the next servo, I memorize it, Okay. go to the other page, and it plays it all back. Okay. So set one wing up, say you have three, three servos on an aileron. Correct. When you set the other one up, it just mirrors it? Correct. Without having to go in and, and reset anything. It yep. automatically does that. Yep. That's pretty smart. It, it's the next thing. Excellent. Now we've got all this, this great features and, and intelligence in the receiver and the, the servos and the cables, are they? can you use them with any Futaba transmitter? No. You have to have one that has the um, S-Bus technology built into it, our 14SG, okay. our 10J, which is our, our low end line, mm -hmm. and our 18 okay. has that technology. Okay. So just those three radios right Correct. now. All right. Are you and looking to that, expand yeah, that in the future? That's going to be or? the future. Okay. Very good. Then we also have the S-Bus 2. 
okay. which is our telemetry, our sensors on opto sensor for helicopters, heat sensors for your engines. Okay. I just had a guy yesterday come up and talked about S bus too. He's flying an inline twin on an old airplane and he's like, I need to make sure the back cylinder. So great, we hooked him up with a heat sensor and that's the only way to do it. Sure. When cool. you're investing that much money in your airplanes, you want to make sure you know everything. That's right. That's right. And with this technology, we now know what's going on. But think, what's the future going to be? That's a good question. I bet you know. I can't say. Thanks, Greg. Take care, Jeff.